Aww, animals. Christmas shopping with the Deer family. Earlier this month, a doe was seen wandering into a general store outside of Fort Collins, Colorado. When Horse Tooth Inn and RV Park employee Lori Jones was working, the deer walked right into the store. She didn't do much except check out the sunglasses and the chips. Thinking the deer had lost its way, Jones guided it out of the store with a peanut bar, and that was it. Then surprise! 30 minutes or so later, Mama Deer came back with her whole family to do some more Christmas shopping. It's not clear why the deer were so interested in the shop, but Jones later lured the entire deer family out with another peanut bar. Guess they'll just have to do their shopping online now. Don't leave yet, here's more stories about deer and the deer things they do. Sacred deer in Japan being captured for roaming too much. Ever heard of the Sika deer of Nara, Japan? You may have seen them while scrolling through your Instagram feed. They're quite popular over there. Unfortunately for these friendly animals, city officials feel they're getting a bit too close for comfort, with the animals wandering into town and wrecking regional agriculture. So, some of them may be kindly asked to leave. The Sika deer have roamed the area for decades, a population explosion igniting roughly a century ago when their main predator, the local wolf, went extinct. Now, an estimated 1,200 of them have clustered in the city's central park region. Tourists are known to frequent the area to feed the deer crackers. And amazingly, these creatures have figured out that bowing to humans may earn them a few more snacks. Respect! As the deer have multiplied, though, they've been spilling over into fields, casually consuming crops and angering farmers, causing an annual $54 million in damage. The notion of a call was dismissed, with the animal classified as a national treasure, protected by law. Instead, humane traps will be set for the relocation of 120 of them. With an aim to have the balance between man and deer restored by next March, a local government official was quoted as saying, we want to continue efforts to coexist in peace while preventing damage to crops. Hmm, a land where people consider and accommodate the feelings of deer? You could call it Bambi's Paradise. Or not. Japanese monkey has sexy time with a deer. Here's something you don't see every day. A monkey was caught on camera humping a deer in the woods of Yakushima in southwestern Japan. What's more, it seems like the action was consensual. Japanese macaques are known to hitch rides on deer in the wild, but this was a very different kind of ride. The video, recorded in November 2015 by scientist Alexandra Bonifoy, shows a macaque having a quickie with a Sika deer, humping it 15 times in 10 seconds. Afterward, the deer was seen licking its butt. The monkey then went at it with a second deer. He probably felt like he needed some alone time with this deer deer, because he chased away two bystanders. When another monkey tried to get in on the action, his advances were repulsed and he was thrown off the deer's back. According to a study by Bonifoy and his colleagues, the strange behavior may be the result of mate deprivation. Basically, when monkeys don't have access to females of their own species, they're more likely to engage in some interspecies loving. The monkey appears to have pulled out before blowing his load. Bonifoy said the monkey did likely ejaculate since the deer licked its butt after the mount and the sperm could be a good source of protein for the deer. Experts noted the monkeys are extra frisky this time of year because uh, it's breeding season. Oh dear. When Japanese male macaques were spotted mounting female Sika deer back in January, some passed it off as misdirected mating. But when it became clear females were getting in on some of the action too, one thing's for sure, macaques really like to do it with deer. The question on everyone's minds though is, why? Adult male macaques apparently don't like their adolescent female counterparts, so the ladies in heat end up turning to another species for satisfaction. They thrust and grind their lady bits on the backs of their stag mates, which only tolerate them because they get groomed in return. That must be some good grooming because the females can get pretty damn excited with some rude ones even stealing someone else's stag. They're also very demanding and have been known to throw massive pissy fits if Bambi doesn't want to give it. Wild Japan, indeed. Deer runs amok inside cafe. An anxious deer turned this small restaurant in St. John's, Indiana, upside down on the morning of October 24th. Surveillance cameras caught the wild encounter, along with the expressions of the patrons who witnessed it. Oh, dear. 
It's not exactly known where the deer came from or what drew it to the cafe, but given it was 7 a.m., one can only presume it was the wafting smell of pancakes. The deer must have stumbled upon the cafe, spotted an open window, and leapt through to breakfast heaven. As soon as it got inside, though, it quickly realized that this wasn't the sort of place that served deer. Maybe venison, though. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, the owners of the restaurant, probably making pancakes, heard a loud crash and ran to investigate. As you can see on the tape, when the two worlds collided, they spooked the crap out of each other. Noticeably frightened, the deer bolted past cafe patrons and through another open window. The restaurant staff posted the surveillance footage of the incident to have a little fun on social media with the caption, Amazing food! Even the wildlife wants a bite. Clever marketing! Speaking of the wildlife, we're not sure what became of the deer, but uh, let's just hope it found a way to that pancake breakfast in the end. I want pancakes now. Anybody else want pancakes?